Greetings, lovely souls, and a warm welcome to the sacred space. I am Rovina, and I'm truly honored to guide you through this transformative hypnotic experience today. Before we begin, I want to remind you to find a quiet and a comfortable space where you can fully immerse in this moment of self-discovery and relaxation. Whether you are sitting or lying down. Let your body settle into a state of relaxation. I encourage you to pause any distractions or responsibilities for now. This is your time to nourish your mind, body, and soul. As we embark on this inner journey, remember to refrain from engaging in any activities that require your attention, such as driving or operating machinery. Allow yourself to surrender to the present moment. Let go of any tension, worries, or thoughts that may be clouding your mind. Feel the ground beneath you supporting your body, and let your breath become your anchor to the present moment. Throughout this journey, you are in complete control. If at any point you feel uncomfortable or wish to end the session, gently open your eyes and return to your awareness. Thank you for joining me today, dear souls. May this experience bring you the peace and clarity you seek. Now let us begin. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and let the journey unfold. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to visualize certain things, and as you do, you will find yourself drifting deeper and deeper into hypnosis. And this wonderful, relaxing feeling. I'd like you to begin by imagining a bright red door, a bright red door, and on the door is a very large number seven. That's right, a number seven. That's good. Now you're walking towards the door, and the door is closed. And you push the door open. Push, push the door open, and the door opens easily for you. And you close the door gently behind you, and walk into a brightly colored red room. Notice how all the walls are red. And most of the furniture is red, and this room represents a problem that you are seeking help with. Even so, it's not an angry red, but somehow comforting because you know you are getting inside your problem, and you are going to overcome it with hypnosis. So look around and evaluate your problem. Decide on the best way to move forward. What strength do you need to help you? We are going to gather those strength as we move through the rooms and walk over to another door at the far side of the room. And this side, the other door is orange. And on the orange door is the large number six. The number six on this orange door. As you reach the door, you wonder at what is beyond it, and you push open the door with your hand. You push the door open with your mind, and you walk through into a lovely bright orange room. And the orange room represents your desire to overcome that problem, and that's good, because you really want to overcome it, and you know with certainty that you will. All you need is to want something badly enough, and you will surely achieve it, using all the resources that you have. So gather that desire to overcome your problem. And take it with you to the yellow door at the far end of the room. And the yellow door has a large number five on it. 
And as you enter the yellow room, you are filled with hope and optimism. You can feel that hope and optimism entering your soul and the deepest part of your mind. This lovely bright yellow room is like a burst of sunshine. It's a wonderful room, and your hope and your optimism are increasing moment by moment. Walk over to the green door now at the end of the room. The green door with the number four on it, a large number four. And as you enter the green room, you find that you can drift a little deeper. That's right. You can drift a little deeper into hypnosis and this wonderfully calm and relaxing feeling, drifting deeper and deeper still. Now the green room represents abundance and growth, just like the new growth of spring and its promise of things to come. Most importantly. Your determination to overcome that old problem of yours is growing stronger and stronger with every breath that you take and every word that I utter. You know you can achieve whatever you set out to achieve. You are determined and positive and confident, and you feel wonderful, so good. And at the end of the green room, and you bring with you the determination to succeed, is a blue door, and on the blue door is the number three. Number three, on the blue door, and it's a bright blue door, bright and cheerful, and that's how you feel. As you drift deeper still, and ready soon. To begin the work that you want to do, to overcome your problem forever, just like that new growth of spring, the blue door offers you the strength to overcome any problems in your life, and also a feeling of deep inner calm. And you're growing stronger and stronger, and so much calmer each and every day. And the room seems to change as you watch it in your mind's eye. To a beautiful garden with an orchard, and flowers and leaves on the trees are so different in shade, and you drift deeper and deeper and deeper still. Moving forward, you notice another door, an indigo door. This door is the color of the deep blue sea, and it has on it the number two. And as you push open the deep blue door, you find yourself watching the ocean waves, and a feeling of total peace comes over you, total peace and serenity, and you go deeper and deeper and deeper still. You find yourself moving now. You're floating over the deep blue sea, over and over, deeper and deeper, yet rising above to a higher plane of consciousness. Almost as though you're aware of your higher mind, rising, rising, go higher and deeper. Into this lovely, peaceful feeling, until you reach a heavenly door, the most perfect shade of violet, a rich purple door with the number one, and you're now at one with the universe. As you enter the violet room. You see a beautiful white light, with sparkling reflection of violet from the room. So enter the light.
Now that you're relaxing so very well, we're going to deepen your trance state by using your wonderful imagination to visit your dream destination, which is a safe, secure, warm, and comfortable place to be. And you can experience your dream destination in every detail, as if you were there in your dreams. You can experience your dream destination and live and enjoy the experience as it happens right here and right now. And it doesn't matter if you have never visited your dream destination before, just allow yourself to see, sense, and experience what I am saying. So when you're ready, let us begin your wonderful journey. Please allow one or two minutes pause between each visualization. Now imagine yourself arriving by plane. Now imagine yourself arriving by plane, boat, or some other means at your dream destination in a land far away. It has been a long, tedious journey, and you're feeling a little sleepy as you arrive, but you have been looking forward to this moment for so long. So you make your way to the beach. See yourself now, relaxing on your own private beach with soft golden sands and crystal clear blue green waters and the waves are lapping gently onto the shore listen to those waves as they lazily splash what a peaceful tranquil sound You have the whole of this wonderful bay to yourself, and it stretches for miles and miles around. It is a most glorious place to be. And as you relax in the sun on your wonderful beach, you shade your eyes from its glare and notice the lush green palm trees all around your tropical island. And some of these have many large coconuts up high in the tops. The sky is a beautiful shade of blue with just a few fluffy white clouds in the distance. Palm trees are swaying ever so gently in the warm summer breeze. And looking out across the clear blue green water of the ocean, you can see quite clearly dolphins swimming around, jumping playfully in and out of the beautiful clear warm waters. In the distance, you can see many tiny islands scattered around with other marine creatures playing peacefully together. This somehow makes you feel very happy to be here and right now and you realize this is a paradise island where you can come to escape from the ordinary everyday world whenever you wish. It's starting to get a little bit warm now, so you decide to cool down by walking around your tropical island. You can feel the soft of silky sand beneath your bare feet, and when you venture near the sea, you feel the lovely fresh water cooling you down as you go. On a further coastline, you see the little cove that may you make a mental note to visit sometime. Bye.
but right now you're just enjoying strolling around, slowly and steadily as you explore your dream destination experience. After a little while, you decide to sit down on a rock and just watch the waves, the dolphins, and the fine sea spray, and you find yourself losing track of time. As you idly dream the rest of the day away, after a while, you are alerted by the sound of the dolphins calling goodbye to you. You realize that it's now getting late. So you return to your spot on the beach, and the sun is just starting to set. A myriad of different shades of red, orange, and yellow streak across the once clear blue sky. And the turquoise water of the ocean is deepening in color. Now, as you look out across the magical dream tropical bay, you see the most amazing sight that you have ever seen. A yellow golden sunset is slowly setting over the ocean. Making it shimmer and sparkle and glow. And you continue to watch until the sun finally sets. And as it disappears, it leaves a lovely warm feeling that spreads across the whole of the island. And this lovely warm feeling spreads over you and your entire body, mind, and spirit. Feel at one with your dream destination, and you find yourself going deeper and deeper into this tranquil dream time experience. For a few moments, you will not hear my voice, but in the silence. I want you to continue experiencing this peaceful tranquility in your own special way. And when you next hear my voice, you will be twice as relaxed, twice as comfortable, and ready to accept any suggestions that are for the benefit of your health and well-being. You are now very deeply relaxed, and your subconscious mind is open and receptive to the suggestions you are about to hear. And I'm going to be talking to you about something that has been on your mind a lot over the recent months. And as I'm sure you have already guessed, this concerns your situation about being newly single. And your feeling towards your ex and their new partner. I know this is a situation that you have been finding difficult to cope with, and this is perfectly understandable. Most people in your position would probably feel very similar to how you do. After all. You and your ex were once so much in love, and you built your hopes and dreams for the future around that person. You shared intimate moments, and your waking lives probably revolved around each other for a long time. To have all this suddenly taken away from you is like having the rug. Hold from beneath your feet. What do you have left to stand on? Where have those solid foundations of all that you share disappeared to? 
when there are children involved, this can be doubly painful because they might feel abandoned too. Even if their missing parent keeps in touch, there is still a huge gap in their lives. But while some people might give up when faced with this situation, you have decided to use your own mind power to help you to cope. Which means that your subconscious mind has already accepted that it is time for you to move on and get over this. To get over it, you will, because you are a survivor, and you have time on your side. And we all know that time is the greatest healer of all in situations like this. In healing yourself, you must first learn to let go of the negative emotions that have been bubbling away under the surface. There may be feelings of abandonment or disappointment, feelings of having been rejected, anger towards your ex and their new partner, jealousy even, and so much more. With the help of hypnosis and your wonderful subconscious mind, you are going to allow all those negative emotions to leave you, once and for all. You are going to forgive all the people in your life who need forgiveness, and allow yourself to move on and be happy again. In order to do this, I would like you to visualize yourself standing in a very large garden. In the garden of flowers and herbs, a little pond surrounded by a rockery and a nearby shed with lots of garden tools. There is a compost bin in one corner and a bag to recycle water as well as an incinerator to dispose of old rubbish. But what stands out most in this garden is a magnificent tree in the middle. It is a majestic tree, standing tall with its branches spread out. Build this image in your mind's eye as vividly as you possibly can. The tree's roots are firmly embedded in the ground beneath it, and the earth above them is covered with fresh growths of grass and clusters of bluebells and primroses. I will be quiet for a moment or two to allow you to create the presence of this tree in your mind's eye. The bark on this tree is rough to touch. Reach out and feel it now. Notice how, on the trunk of the tree, there are knots and gnarled areas of wood jutting out, and see how they form interesting shapes and textures. One looks like a wizened old man, and another like crocodile's head. Yet another is shaped like an old but very kind eye, as though it is the wise guardian of this lovely tree. And another could be an ear, possibly to listen to the secrets that travel along with the breeze on a warm summer day, as it rustles through the branches and leaves. The color of the bark varies from place to place. In some areas, it is a very light tan, but in others, it's a deep russet brown, almost black. The colors form intricate patterns across the surface of the bark.
the tree is hundreds of years old, and with its branches extended, it looks as though it is stretching up. Ready to embrace the sun and the moon and the stars. As you gaze steadily at the tree, it suddenly occurs to you that this is your tree. It is the tree of your life, and the leaves and branches and twigs on the tree somehow represent events, emotions. Thoughts and attachments that you have formed, whether consciously or unconsciously. The roots of the tree represent the essence of your being, and this firmly embedded in the soft earth below. The branches are the parts you have taken in life. And the twigs and leaves represent events and people that are close to you. Your future is the tree's new growth. Those tiny curled-up buds that will soon open and form new leaves, perhaps even fruit to adorn the tree. And even as you continue to gaze in wonder at your tree of life, you can be aware of a warm glow of calm feeling surrounding you, and it is almost as though you can see every single leaf on the tree in complete detail, every marking, every shade and shape, and patterns that there is to be seen. Some of those leaves are not quite right. As you look a little more closely, you notice that just a few of those leaves look despondent and display the first sign of disease. Fortunately, they are separated from the other clusters of leaves because they hang down. So you are pleased that there is no risk of infecting any of the healthy growth. But your tree could do with a broom. Some of those bad leaves need removing, and luckily for you, the right tools to do this immediately appear from the shed. You gather together the tools that you need. And return to the tree to begin your pruning. As you begin, you realize that those bad leaves represent unwanted emotions, negative feelings, people who have hurt you, let you down in some way, disappointed or betrayed your sense of trust. In fact, the diseased leaves represent anything and everything in your life that you no longer want or need. And of course, you now have the tools, and you have the ability to eliminate them once and for all. I don't know exactly how many diseased leaves there are, but what I do know is that you are going to really enjoy cutting them out of your life and freeing yourself from unwanted associations, so that you can allow new buds to form on your tree of life. Some of these leaves might need cutting back to their branch. But there won't be many of those. Mostly, they are just leaves with the first signs of mold, or black fly, or anything else that you wish to remove. So, do this now while I am quiet for a moment or two. 
if you wish, you can give each leaf a name, such as one that will represent your ex, or others that represent any hurt or disappointment you may have been experiencing. Start now, and I will return in a moment or two. That's good. And when you are satisfied that all the unwanted leaves or twigs are removed, use a rake that's nearby to scoop them into a pile, well away from the tree, perhaps over there in the incinerator. Now it is time to set fire to the pile of rubbish. And remember, you have everything you need. You have the resources and ability and the desire to be rid of these old, diseased, unwanted leaves. So burn them now and clear them away out of your life. Watch the first dead leaf ignite and spread to the next, until the whole lot is engulfed in a breeze of flames. Rising from the fire, you see orange and red flames with wisp of blue smoke. Smell the fire, feel the heat, and most of all, Enjoy the feeling of liberation within you, as all those negative unwanted symbols disappear in the fire. The fire doesn't take long to burn itself out, and soon you are left with a pile of ashes which you decide to shovel into the compost bin. This is a good way for you to recycle those ashes, and it is also a way for you to forgive all those who have offended you in any way. As you watch the ashes drop down, Say or think these words to yourself. I forgive all that has upset me in any way. I forgive those who have let me down, whether intentionally or unintentionally. I forgive anything and everything that needs forgiveness, even myself or any part I unwittingly played in the wide scheme of things. Those ashes will take a long time to compose down, but you instinctively know that time is on your side, and you already feel lighter and much better and ready for this new chapter in your life to begin. Having forgiven and eliminated all negativities from your life, you know that you are ready for new buds to form on your tree. You look forward to new experiences and new opportunities. You look forward to the chance to do what you really want to do, to discover more about yourself, your abilities, and your capabilities as you stand on your own two feet. You might take up new interests or rekindle an old one. You might decide to change your image or your job, or just a routine. If 
if there was anything felt unable to do when you were with your ex, now is the time for you to explore new experiences and create the future you want for yourself. And because your mind is now open to receptive to the idea of change, this fresh start could be just what you need. And you know that, with time on your side, you will feel better each and every day. And as time goes by, it will suddenly occur that you will look back on this period of your life with a feeling of relief. And you will be so happy that you made a fresh start. After all, who knows what adventures and surprises are around the corner waiting for you. Perhaps you will meet a new love. Or you may decide that living alone is so much better because you can do more or less what you want and when you want. Maybe you will travel to distant lands, make new friends, experience different cultures, or you could decide to read or write a book about your life. You may decide to paint, learn a musical instrument, join a community venture, learn a new language, or anything else that you may be interested in. Whatever you decide to do, one thing is for sure, that whenever you return to your garden to visit your tree of life, you will be amazed at the new buds and leaves that have formed, even flowers and fruits that you never expected to see. And as you travel on your journey through life, you can look forward with curiosity and eager anticipation to every new opportunity that presents itself. I know there will be abundance of these. I am going to be quiet for a few moments again, and in the silence, experience again that warm glow of inner calm and peace and tranquility. And when you next hear my voice, you'll be ready to return to the here and now, and ready to commence this new chapter in life. And these suggestions are firmly embedded in your subconscious mind and grow stronger and stronger day by day. Stronger by the day, stronger by the hour, stronger by the minute. Okay, bring your attention back to my voice. And I'm going to count the numbers from 1 to 5. At the count of 5, you'll be wide awake, feeling wonderfully refreshed and invigorated, and ready to allow these positive changes to take place in your life. 
one, two, three, coming slowly back, four, eyelids beginning to flutter, and five, eyes open, wide awake, mind and body return to normality.